All right, folks, welcome in to the Living in the Valley podcast. This is a Thursday. Thursday, Michael Chambers joins us. Tracy Bandy uh, is going to be running for West Point uh, Council. Uh, caught up with him yesterday. He'll be joining us a little bit later on. Uh, the Georgia Game Warden is going to be letting us know about uh, safe hunting for turkey season. It's not really turkey season. It's deer hunting season. Deer, is it, deer season. Deer season, deer season right, right, right. Yep. So uh, my cousin Jeremy, who refuses to let me ever ride along with him, <laughs> but always calls it when it's either... This time of year, or fishing, or uh, turkey hunting season, etc. That's always. Well, fishing. always. Oh, yeah, but he does a thing in the spring. But oh, okay. I can never ride with him. I have what? asked him repeatedly. He says no. What? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't I don't understand it. We had a bad fishing experience years oh, ago. Oh, no. And he, he's holding the grudge and has been for quite some time. Come on. What, what happened? I hooked him. Oh no! We were practicing the cast, and literally, you were practicing. We were practicing. Me and him both were, and yeah, I hooked him, and he's held a grudge ever since. So, huh? Where'd you hook him? I hooked him in the lip. In the lip? Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh yeah! I mean, if it was an arm. No, 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 no. Slide, but no, we hooked him. No, we hooked him. Yeah. So, anyway, so yeah, so from now on, he refuses to have me. Uh, do anything with him that would be anywhere close to hunting or fishing. Well, That's the deal. Well, if you will hook him in the lip, Hooked you him. might shoot him in the foot. Hook him. <laughs> All right. So, so that's that. Um, a lot of stuff happened yesterday. We uh, we watched and and listened to Mike Lux and Kirkin talk last night in Valley uh, on life changes. That was at the community center. Uh, we've got a great article on Mike talking uh, up today at GatorKincaid.com. That was really big. Uh, a lot of Valley kids were there, kids from all over the community. It was a packed house. And it's all about life changes. And he goes into Phillip's life, legacy, and death. Really? And how kids can learn from it. One mistake. One mistake. One, one mistake, choice. one, one time. So that it was really powerful. Everybody was moved. Um, they did a video thing to kick it off. It was it was pretty strong. So anyways, if you missed it um, and and you just want to get a little bit more info on the uh, Let's See Forty Three Foundation, you can uh, check out that article today, GatorKincaid.com. Also yesterday, I attended a a forum, if you will, in West Point. With all the candidates, mayor candidates, city council candidates, and it was good. It was over there at the West Point Senior Center. Yeah. There's, I mean, they they were very, everybody was cordial, everybody, it was peaceful, everybody, you know, they had their time, it was nice, it was, you know, if Washington, D.C. could smarten up and learn how to do a political forum the way small towns do it, we would not be long. arguing today. Do you know how you, you, do you know how you get elected to be, to be president? You got to just talk bad about everybody. You got to dog out the guy that That's you're right. replacing. That's right. And dog him out with with, with, with no end. Yeah. And dog out the guys that you would be running against. That's True. how you get elected. True. That's all you got to do. Yeah. And it's not just Donald Trump, and you which Donald know. Trump was on the warfare. Oh, yeah. But it goes back to Barack. It goes back to George, W. George w. Yeah. It goes back. It it, it goes back all the way. I don't well. The last one that was probably as a little bit more peaceful. I don't remember Bill and Forty One. I don't remember. I don't remember getting it real nasty. I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Now, 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 it got nasty. It got nasty for Bill because of what he was bringing to the table. Yeah. Being Arkansas of governor. Whitewater. But between 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 Forty One and Bill, no, it was it was it was it was pretty peaceful. Anyways. It was a good forum. Um, we're going to give you a little snippet from the candidates coming up a little bit later on today at uh, GatorKincaid.com. Also, we're going to give you some news coming up very soon. They did the, they've done this for years now. Uh, Bats and Cook has a bus that they take the veterans down to Fort Benning right uh, right ahead of Veterans Day. I believe Veterans Day is the 11th. Is it 11-11 or is it 11-8? Somewhere along there. It's, it's like either the first or second week in November. Um, but that's going to be cool. I'm going to give you some information coming up. Uh, Bats and Cook uh, contacted me about that yesterday. 
uh, Travis over there, and, and that's going to be big. Yes. 11. It is the 11th. It is the 11th. Yes. It's 11 11. Okay. All right. So we got that. Big wreck yesterday in Lynette, and it was weird. This happened about five o'clock yesterday afternoon. Let me let me tell you what happened. A 2011 black Chrysler 300, whom motorists and witnesses there said was driving extremely erratic, crashes right there by Lynette Mill. Lynette police go out there. They're on it. Uh, the Alabama Highway Patrol is assisting as well. They had to search the car afterwards, I guess, because they're looking, you know, if a guy's driving that erratic, you're thinking, what's he on? Right. Correct. Right. 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 Yeah. So that was the details. He was transported to uh, a nearby hospital. I couldn't I can't confirm if it's yeah, EMC Lanier. I assume it is. But uh, not, no confirmation there. But it was it was a scene. I mean, this I mean, this thing was really weird yesterday. Yeah. They well, they have blocked twenty nine off. This is right after five o'clock. They have blocked twenty nine off for for several minutes. What? Yeah, maybe 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 even half an hour. Um, nothing nothing to tell right now. And I talked to Lynette police, and they just said they're, they're handling the investigation. investigation. And you know what? That's all I need. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something to these news reporters out there. When law enforcement says we're handling it, we'll let you know. I know you want to break it, and I know you want to do it right then and there because it's not about you're getting the story right all the time. It's about who's first, but you got to respect law enforcement and let them do their, do their job. That's right. I'm not going to hinder an investigation. No. Uh, you because, know what I'm saying? Because they will. Um, well, it's just, share, it's just the right the thing to do. Please. It's just, it's just the right thing to do. The guy's got a job to do. Why That's would right. I, why would I want to interfere in a guy's job? That's right. Like, I mean, if, I mean, you know, he don't come in and no. He does. He doesn't interfere in my job. That's right. You know, yeah. he doesn't come here and tell me how to turn on the microphone. That's right. I'll figure, because they don't allow it. I'll figure that right. out by trial and error. <laughs> sooner or later, right sooner or later, sooner or later, the the green button's coming on. It's gonna come on. I mean, you eventually. know. Eventually. So, so that, <laughs> so that was, <laughs> so that was a few things that happened yesterday. All right. So, um, national news. We, we we some sometimes we'll get into it. What's going on with Harvey Weinstein? Oh man. I mean, he what's going has, on there? Uh, he, he. And apparently, this has been going on for years. When that can of worms opened up, all the worms crawled out. And I mean, they, keep crawling. They, they said this thing That's has like been. Women. They said this thing has been going on for years. It's like the Bill Cosby thing. It is. It is. And you know what? Nobody, nobody want to speak up. Well, but because they, they because you know why? You know why? Because, 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 because you're not gonna, you're not gonna ruin the train that you're on. That's right. If I the, mean, if, no, if right. the conductor has you on the fame and money train. You're not going to jump off and say, hey, Big Daddy, can I get on that smaller train? Yeah. You want to ride the Big Daddy. That's right. All the way. That's right. That's right. So now all this is coming out about Harvey Weinstein. It's awful. It it really is. I mean, talking about that's the way he he grew up treating women. What is this? The casting couch? I don't know. This is like the casting couch. Kind of like the (sighs) Bill Cosby casting couch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just horrible. Oh. And every day, and now more. you got, and, and then you got, you got the Gwyneth Paltrow's and the Ben Affleck's, the Matt Damon's. They're just dogging him out now. Oh yeah. But oh, years ago, oh, yeah. even five years ago, four, four or five years ago, they're just singing this guy's praises. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Goodwill Hunting. Oh, yeah. When that came out, I oh. want to thank Harvey Weinstein, oh. Ben Affleck. Oh. I couldn't have done this without you, Harvey. Gwyneth Paltrow couldn't have done this without you, Harvey. And now, and then now he's done. Yeah, come back. And he's done. I mean, they've kicked him out of his his company. I mean the, the the Canfield Festival. What has Canfield to? I wonder what I wonder what has to happen for the dominoes to fall. Like somebody's got to somebody's got to start it, and then one person jumps on it, then one person, then before you know it, it's the same. Yep. It's like Bill Cosby. It is. It's yeah. Bill Cosby. It's just like it's Bill Cosby, but except that he's dealing with all these beautiful women because you know they're what it is. These casting roles. You know what it is. You don't ever take down the young gun. Like 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 if Harvey Weinstein is. In his thirties, right, or even early forties, he, which he's a far, he's he's not. No. Um, you don't go after that. You know what happens to guys like that? They get old. Yeah. And, and you know what? They and, get old. and the old man, and yeah. the old man is sitting there as a lame duck because you can take out the old man. Yeah. Because what's he got? Nothing. I mean, there's always going to be a young stud that comes up that's that's probably bigger and to better than Harvey place. Weinstein to take his place. And right. And will be now. And you'll sit there and say, "Hey, old man." And they'll be the next. They'll be the next thing that that's it. Since sliced bread. That's and it. then there you go. Wait till they get old. That's crazy. And then that's crazy. Go. Yeah. Take out the old man. Yeah. That's what you are. It always happens like that. Mm-hmm. Bill Cosby. Old man. 
Bill Clinton. Old man. <laughs> The old man always, the, uh, let this be known, let this be known. If you roll like that, sooner or later, you're going to be the old man. That's right. And nothing's creepier than the old man. So if you need a sign, you need to stand out. It's a very competitive market these days. You need to call on Picarious Graphics over in Lynette. I've been knowing John Rafford for a minute, and the old boy can just get it done. Signs, T-shirt, banners, whatever you need. He's in Lynette, uh, right around the corner from Palm City, calling the day 334-643. Pardon me, that's 623-0073. It's 334-623-0073. Aquarius Graphics in Lynette. He'll get you covered. Chambly's Tradition, Pepper Jelly, Signs. Let me tell you something real quick. Pepper Jelly. Let me tell you something real, real, real quick. She dropped off a sign she did for me, yeah. right? Yeah. Got a big old G with a alligator on the tail. Oh, really? And we're going to display that thing tomorrow. And I'm going to show a picture of it on our Facebook page. She can, she can, she can take care of it, buddy. Really? She, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, what else do you want? A sign and, and, and some pepper jelly? That's all you need. It's almost like Christmas. You need no more. Some crackers. You're good to go. Good night. Ready for the so... You need to call them a day. You can you can actually find her on Facebook, Chambly's Tradition. Chambly's Tradition. Got you covered. Valley Pharmacy has got the the new um, So Clean for your CPAP machine. You know, there's a lot of folks out there that have a hard time sleeping. Oh, Snoring. Yeah. CPAP is a big deal. CPAP is a real big deal. Yeah. The problem is when you get a CPAP machine, the air that you're putting back into you is nasty and dirty. This So Clean thing that they have at Valley Pharmacy has a 99% clean efficiency rating like that's 99 percent clean that's going back in you yeah that's what you want strong you know, you know very strong very going back in they got them at valley pharmacy go see craig and angie over there in langdale for that fairview clubhouse events reunions birthdays they got it going on over there anything anything yeah. holler at peggy thompson you can uh, reach her via the car lot at langdale motor company 334-756-7000 there you go, buddy. There you go. The polka dot box in um, downtown West Point, they got it going on over there, too. Uh, boutique, they just got their uh, fall boots in and sweaters and shirts for you ladies. And don't forget, guys, about the Yeti tumblers. Right across the street. Right across the street. Downtown West Point. Can't miss them right there. Dusty, D-Tech, the computer whiz, that the man. guru, knows the man knows who knows it. everything. He knows it. He'll fix a Mac. He'll fix a Windows. Yeah. He'll fix a gaming system. That's right. Man. Right. Call on Dusty today. I know you know Dusty's number. I don't. You do it. Don't call that. No. 334. Hang on one second. 706. 706. 773. 8099. There you go. D-Tech in the house. <laughs> Shoot, yeah, buddy. So we just want to uh, thank our participating sponsors today and uh, do uh, go uh, see them because they ain't nothing like shopping local. That's right. They ain't nothing like doing it local. That's right. All right. No doubt. All right. Did you know, I found this out yesterday too because I've been not in the know on this issue. <laughs> What's going on with the Boy Scouts? And have you heard about that? I heard about so it. there's a big movement now, uh, a parent whose daughter wants to be in the Boy Scouts. Oh my gosh. So now we're going there, <sighs> which I'm confused she about. Must, she must go to the middle bathroom. Well, 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 yeah. And a lot of parents are upset. They're like, well, we don't need that. And and I get it. We don't we don't need that. Boys, I mean, but I'm I, about to but I'm about to spin this and and what's a really bad story into a really potential positive story. We double up on Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? We double like, up. Like, we double up. As in, as in, not only do we get the shot on the Girl Scout cookies, yeah. but now if the girl is inside the Boy Scout, yeah. then we double up our order. So what's that going to do with her wanting to be a Boy Scout? It's not going to do anything except for us. We have sad. a chance to double up our cookie order. Oh, okay. That's the, you, that's you, the you, only you, saving grace in this argument. You're trying to, you're trying that's to, right. 
I'm always trying to look for double the cookies. I'm always trying That's to look all. for the positives. Look for the positives. I'm trying to find the positives in the finish. fact that everybody's upset that one parent's daughter and now wants to be in the Boy Scouts. I don't think that would be the first to ever want to be in the Boy Scouts. It would be the one. It would be the first to be accepted in the Boy Scouts. I mean, it's a you know, it's like hey. Girl Scout, Boy Scouts, Girl Scout, Boy Scouts, Girl Scout, Boy Scouts. Now you start mixing and matching. Then what happens when a dude has his kid in the Girl Scouts? It's a crazy world we live in now, man. It's absolutely crazy. I mean. I don't understand. I don't understand what good can come from that. I don't. Why? Because you can? I don't know what to say. Daddy, I would like to race the soapbox. Derby, you know that boy thing the boys got yeah. to do with the car coming. Yeah, I want to, I want to do that. Well, okay, I don't, I don't. Sure, you can. Can I do that? Well, sure, you can. Sure, why not? Now it's become an issue. That's why. That's why. That's why. Because all these people are too scared to tell their little honeys and their little babies. Mm -hmm. No, that's what's wrong. So with it's society. got, every, it's got everybody upset. Am I right or wrong? It's got everybody that's what's upset. Wrong with society. People are scared to tell their kids no. They right. need to be able to learn the word no because they're going to grow right. up and then the world's going to slap them in the face and tell them no. See, there, that's and what I'm talking about. And they're going to kick and cry and whine. That's and what then I'm talking they, about. Then they start having children. Look, that's what, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right. So oh. now I'm back to this is going to be your controversial topic you got me of hot. the Look, morning. You got me I'm hot. about to tell you the controversial topic, not just of the morning, but of the past month. Talk Lee to. County School System. Yep. Yeah. And the whole thing with the prayer oh, before the oh, game. Yes, yes, yes. Folks are upset. Oh, yeah. But let me tell you why it's Bush League. Because the so-called school boards yep. have been dodging this issue mm -hmm. for close to 30 years. Oh, yeah. I can remember 1991, meet me at the flagpole. And that's when we all got together and they said, well, you can't pray in school, you know, homeroom and all that. You can't okay. pray. You know, they said, all right, fine. We're taking it to the flagpole. That's right. And you know, and you know how many people was supporting that movement? Everybody. Nobody. nobody. No, nobody was. Did it no, no, the, no. Kids did it on their own to meet at the flagpole. But I'm yeah. saying school board, no support. Oh, yeah. No. Preachers, no, no support. Yeah. You going to sit there and tell me that 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 a Baptist coalition or a church coalition, especially in the South, can't have enough strength to put that issue to bed. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. We've been we've been going thirty years, and now the Lee County School Board's like, well, well, I guess they got a point. No, you don't, because it's even if you don't agree with it, it's called freedom of speech. That's right. That's right. Freedom of speech. So what are we doing now? We're censoring everybody. Yes. Absolutely. I guess I guess we're only censoring people but, if they're saying one particular thing. But then that goes back to your that's right you know, church. That's right. Church. And so they want to get upset and they want to get rowdy now, but I'm just like, dude, where have y'all been? I don't know. You can't sit there and tell me, you could not sit there and tell me that 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 elected political people and it's and a school board people and 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 and, and, and the church can't can't win this argument. Yeah. I just don't believe it. But anyways, that's well, you know, there, that's the controversial topic of the morning. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a big to do down. It. It's a huge. I mean, all, Beulah, all the, Beulah's really upset about it. Oh, Beulah Smith. They're all, all upset about it. Schools. I mean, it, it ought to be everywhere. They're all upset about it. It should be all of them. It hasn't affected Chambers County yet. It should. It should. You no, know what I'm saying. I'm saying they don't. They they don't. They don't have that enforced in the Chambers County schools. Oh, yet, right? okay. That's it. But, oh. but, it, but it may come. I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay. It, okay it, it's saying. right now. Right now, it's just Lee County. Yeah. Man. They're all upset about it. Oh yeah, I mean, there's the local business owner down in Smith says uh, he's upset. Printed the Lord's Prayer on a uh -huh. big, huge billboard and put it at his at his gas station right there next to the uh, school and the and the football field and stuff. Right. And then before the game, they hand out leaflets of the Lord's Prayer. So if you don't know it, which it was drilled in my head, right, at a young age, right. I mean, if you don't know it, and and they they take time, you know, right before the game, and they say the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. Everybody says it. Nobody announces it over the PA. It's right. just everybody says it. A parent asked me about it last night, and they said, I wonder why. Like, like, what good can come from this? Why would they do this? I said, well, it's one, it's one simple explanation. Because the school board has got to get reelected. They, they can't, That's all it is. They can't ruffle it's It's because it's, it's a guy on that school board has got to get reelected. 
and a senator's got to get reelected, and a congressman's got to get reelected, right. and nobody's going to step up there because they don't want to lose that vote. That's all it is. It's but you know what? It's crap because people should really get into what our rights are, and that's not about offending somebody or not offending. It's freedom of speech. Right. Hey, guess what? If you don't want to pray, don't pray. That's right. Go to the bathroom. You don't want to listen? Put go to the bathroom. In your ears. Go to the bathroom. I mean, go get a corn dog. Go get a hot dog. Something. Read your fantasy football update. That's right. You got your phone. But you're not going to sit there and tell everybody else that they can't do it because you feel uncomfortable about it. Well, you know, all that started back up. That's what I'm trying to say. At a Smith's Opelika game. Yeah. And it was somebody from the Opelika right. that got offended of it. Right. Mm. You see? Mm. Go to the bathroom. Uh, go to the bathroom. Go. Go to the bathroom. If you if you if if it is that uncomfortable to you, there you go. Exit stage left and come back. That's right. Good grief! You know it's time. You gotta stand up for what you believe. In. It's time to get serious and 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 just stop. You know, it's it's time to get serious about the issues, and it's just it's been going on too long. It has. It's been going on way too long. Yep. Thirty years. Over thirty Over years. 30. Over yeah. thirty years. So if you need a sign. You need to stand out. It's a very competitive market these days. You need to call on Piquarius Graphics over in Lynette. I've been knowing John Rafford for a minute, and the old boy can just get it done. Signs, T-shirt, banners, whatever you need. He's in Lynette uh, right around the corner from Palm City. Call him today, 334-643. Pardon me, that's 623-0073. Three three four six two three zero zero seven three. Paquarius Graphics in Lynette. He'll get you covered. Chambly's Tradition Pepper Jelly signs. Mm. Let me tell you something real quick. Pepper Jelly. Let me tell you something real, real, real quick. She dropped off a sign she did for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got a big old G with a alligator on the tail. Oh, really? And we're gonna display that thing tomorrow. And I'm gonna show a picture of it on our Facebook page. She can, she can, she can take care of it, buddy. Really? She, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, what else do you want? A sign and 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 some pepper jelly. That's all you need. It's almost like Christmas. You need nothing. Look, some crackers. You good to go. Good night. Ready for the so, you need to call them a day. You can you can actually find her on Facebook. Chambly's Tradition. Chambly's Tradition. Got you covered. Valley Pharmacy has got the the new um, so clean for your CPAP machine. You know, there's a lot of folks out there that have a hard time sleeping. Oh, snoring. Yeah. CPAP is a, big, CPAP big, is a big, real big deal. Yeah. The problem is when you get a CPAP machine, the air that you're putting back into you is nasty and dirty. This so clean thing that they have at Valley Pharmacy has a 99% clean efficiency rating. Like that's 99% clean that's going back in you. Yeah, that's what you want. Strong. You know, Very like, strong. Going back in they got them at Valley Pharmacy. Go see Craig and Angie over there in Langdale for that. Fairview Clubhouse events, reunions, birthdays, they got it going on over there. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Holler at Peggy Thompson. You can uh, reach her via the car lot at Langdon Motor Company, 334-756-7000. There you go, buddy. There you go. The Polka Dot Box in um, downtown West Point, they got it going on over there, too. Uh, boutique, they just got their uh, fall boots in and sweaters and shirts for you ladies. And don't forget, guys, about the Yeti tumblers. Right, right across the street. Right across the street. Downtown West Point. Can't miss them right there. Dusty, D-Tech, the computer whiz, that the man. guru, knows the man knows who it. knows everything. He knows it. He'll fix a Mac. He'll fix a Windows. It. He'll fix Ooh. a gaming system. That's right. Man. That's right. Call on Dusty today. I know you know Dusty's number. I don't. You do it. Don't call that. No. 334. Hang on one second. 716. 706. 773. 8099. There you go. D-Tech in yes. the house. <laughs> Shoot, yeah, buddy. So we just want to uh, thank our participating sponsors today and uh, do uh, go uh, see them because they ain't nothing like shopping local. That's right. They ain't nothing like doing it local. Right. Right. No doubt. Hey, listen, I'm going to update you on uh, the high school scoreboard games we have going on here. And you know what? Someone brought this up to my attention yesterday, and they're absolutely correct. What's that? We need to start posting. We're going to start posting the Alabama, Auburn, and Georgia and point schedules on the website. 
I totally slept on that. You didn't get along with I, I just I, I I did high school football. Oh. And I wanted to tackle high school football first, but you're absolutely right. Uh oh, okay. the person that the person that brought that to my attention yesterday. The person. Okay, so well, I I can't name them so out. I can't person? name them out because then they're going to get upset. <laughs> that I that I said, "Hey, why do you bring my name up like that?" You know, because I don't know if they're cool with that. All right. So here we go. I'm going to start off in Lynette. A lot of away games this week, okay? So Lynette is uh traveling to Ranburn. Yeah. I like Lynette to stay undefeated. Oh, they're yeah. going to they're going to beat Ranburn. Oh yeah. They got a showdown with Lafette coming up. Oh yeah, that's a big game. You yeah. ready for my you ready for my stone cold lock of the week? Who? Who's that? Valley beats Silicaga in their house. You think? Yes, I do. Well, I uh, talked to the Valley players last night. Yeah. I like it. You know what they told me? I said I asked them straight up. I said, Man, what happened against Beauregard? Yeah. I mean, did you see Webb and all them other Beauregard guys? Yeah. He said, Man, no. I said, Did you lose it before kickoff? No. What happened? We just laid down. Really? He said, we'll get Beauregard again. And I like that. Yeah. I like that. You think they're the first you, you think they're the first team of freshmen and sophomores to ever get beat 38 to nothing? No. By defending five A state champ? No. But I like what they said. Yeah. And I'm going with Valley Beauregard. to beat Silicaga oh, yeah. this week. They said they laid down. Let's be clear. Let's be clear about that. Yeah. They're saying that. I'm not saying that because they, Beauregard's they a really good football yeah. team. They're really good. Now, They're really you know, good. Valley, Valley played. They, they played. They didn't just they give played. up. They didn't just give up on the field. They played. I like I like the way Buster Daniels got the Rams going. All right. Uh, Beulah uh, on the road against Highland Home. What do you think? Bobcats? I think Bobcats. You like Bobcats? Like All right. Bobcats. I like Bobcats. I like what uh, Cody Flanoy is doing over there. Yep. Springwood, rivalry, weak game against Lee Scott. Yeah. I have not seen enough of the Wildcats to make my decision just yet. Lee Scott's playing good too. They're both kind of reeling a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to make my prediction on that. Chambers at home hosting Sparta Academy. I like the Rebels to stay undefeated. Oh, yeah. yeah. LaFette hosts Realtown. I like the dogs. The dogs are going to just. The dogs have got it. Yeah. And you got that Lynette showdown coming up. Yeah. And Troop and LaGrange on the other side of the hooch. This is a rivalry game. True. Troops got a special season. Yeah, they do. And LaGrange is reeling. Yeah. And I feel bad for the Grangers. Yeah. The Grangers have always been a historic football team. Um, I don't know, Grangers. It ain't your time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes sometimes it's a rebuilding year. Yeah. Just, you, you just got have to reload. To. You got to. You got to reload. That's right. That's right. Just ask Gene Chizik. <laughs> he had to, re he had to you know, they had to rebuild one year. Ooh. I'm not trying to start anything. We, we don't talk about that. I'm not trying to start anything, but I'm just saying. All right, college football, you got uh, the Tide hosting Arkansas. Good night. <laughs> that doesn't, I mean, come no, on. It's, it's come on now. Be, it's going to be a, a massacre. I'll wait, to, so I'll wait to have my, I'll, I'll wait and give my little two cents on the SEC play in just a minute or two. Okay. Auburn on the road against LSU. Yep. Hostile environment, however... It's an afternoon game, not a night game. Yeah. I like Auburn. I like Auburn. I like Auburn. I think they go in there about an eight-point favorite. Yeah, yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have Georgia in front of me. Georgia jo is Missouri. Georgia is Missouri. Georgia okay. Is Missouri. I like the dogs. Yeah. When is the Georgia-Florida game's coming up? Georgia-Florida play next week. No. Is that next week? week? 28th. 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 Yeah, two weeks. The in largest Jacksonville. outdoor cocktail party. Georgia has not. Historically done no. very well in that game. Largest outdoor cocktail party is Auburn. No. That's the oldest rivalry. That's the oldest rivalry. Oldest rivalry. All right. All right. So, all right. So those are your games on tap. Point is uh, points in action as well. Bluefield. Bluefield College from Ram Stadium. That's a kickoff of 130 on Saturday. All right. Cool. Now let's talk about the SEC. Mm. Someone asked me about the SEC last night. Yeah. I said, I told you all before the season started. The SEC is down. Top to bottom. Anybody that sits there and tells me the SEC is the best conference in college football, I'm just like, yeah, I don't think so. We got three top I don't think so. in college football. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, you take Alabama at the top. Yeah. Now let's go top to bottom. I'll give you Bama, Georgia, Auburn. Mm -hmm. The rest is average. At, at, average. At best. At best. At best. So if you're stacking that up, and the only reason you would say they're the best conference is because Alabama is so far up top. Mm -hmm. 
If you go to the ACC, are they a better conference top to bottom? Miami, Florida State's a much better football team if that Francois kid is still playing. Yeah, but they're but they're they're a, they're a potential. Okay, so so let's just go so, and in Clemson. Yeah, Clemson. And let's go Clemson. That's close. Big Ten, eh, not they've they they've kind of had a down year. I thought they would be better. Penn State's still in the mix. They are. Uh, the Buckeyes are still there. Yeah, Ohio State, Penn State. So, okay, it's 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 close. Yeah. There's just not a clear cut best conference team, best conference in college best football. Mm-hmm. All right. Used to be used to be SEC. Oh, it was. Oh, well, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I mean, you had you know everybody was playing now, Tennessee, just, Florida, it, Tennessee, Florida, LSU. You're talking about championship teams now. Mm-hmm. It yeah. happens. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So there's your. So there's so there's football talk for now. <laughs> So if you need a sign, you need to stand out. It's a very competitive market these days. You need to call on Piquarius Graphics over in Lynette. I've been knowing John Rafford for a minute, and the old boy can just get it done. Signs, T-shirt, banners, whatever you need. He's in Lynette uh, right around the corner from Palm City. Call him today, 334-643. Pardon me, that's 623-0073. Three three four six two three zero zero seven three. Aquarius Graphics in Lynette. He'll get you covered. Chambly's Tradition Pepper Jelly signs. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something real quick. Pepper Jelly. Let me tell you something real, real, real quick. She dropped off a sign she did for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got a big old G with a alligator on the tail. Oh, really? And we're gonna display that thing tomorrow. And I'm gonna show a picture of it on our Facebook page. She can, she can, she can take care of it, buddy. Really? She, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, what else do you want? A sign and 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 some pepper jelly. That's all you need. It's almost like Christmas. You need no more. Some crackers. You're good to go. Good night. So you need to call them a day. You can you can actually find her on Facebook. Chambly's Tradition. Chambly's Tradition. Got you covered. Valley Pharmacy has got the the new um, so clean for your CPAP machine. You know, there's a lot of folks out there that have a hard time sleeping. Oh, snoring. Yeah. CPAP is a, big, CPAP big is a real big deal. Yeah. The problem is when you get a CPAP machine, the air that you're putting back into you is nasty and dirty. This so clean thing that they have at Valley Pharmacy has a 99% clean efficiency rating. Like that's 99% clean that's going back in you. Yeah, that's what you want. Strong. You know, you Very know, strong. Going back into you. They got them at Valley Pharmacy. Go see Craig and Angie over there in Langdale for that. Fairview Clubhouse events, reunions, birthdays, they got it going on over there. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Holler at Peggy Thompson. You can uh, reach her via the car lot at Langdon Motor Company, 334-756-7000. There you go, buddy. There you go. The Polka Dot Box in um, downtown West Point, they got it going on over there, too. Uh, boutique, they just got their uh, fall boots in and sweaters and shirts for you ladies. And don't forget, guys, about the Yeti tumblers. Right across the street. Right across the street. Downtown West Point. Can't miss them right there. Dusty, D-Tech, the computer whiz, that the man. guru, knows the it. man knows who knows it. everything. He knows it. He'll fix a Mac. He'll fix a Windows. It. He'll fix Ooh. a gaming system. That's right. Man. Right. Call on Dusty today. I know you know Dusty's number. I don't. You do it. Don't call that. No. Three, three, four. Hang on one second. Seven one seven oh six. Seven oh six. Seven seven three. Eight zero nine nine. There you go. D tech in the house. <laughs> Shoot yeah, buddy. So we just want to uh, thank our participating sponsors today and uh, do uh, go uh, see them because they ain't nothing like shopping local. That's right. They ain't nothing like doing it local. That's right. All right. Local. No doubt. It's a few things going on uh, and one that's postponed. Originally, we had scheduled. A business after hours with the Greater Valley Area Chamber of Commerce from the uh, Chambers County Fishing Lake. Yeah. Because it flooded on Monday, um, they're going to post post postpone that. There's going to be some parking issues. You know, the lake yeah. and all that jazz. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's coming up, but it has been postponed. Was originally scheduled for today. Chili Cookoff in Lynette coming up on Saturday from the Good Sale United Methodist Church. Get there early. I was talking with the judges yesterday. Right. Yeah. Talking with them yesterday. They're fired up. They're ready to go. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's on our community calendar coming up on Saturday from the Good Sale United Methodist Church. 
A little bit later on, on the uh, 26th at Beulah, it is the Beulah Halloween Homecoming Throwdown. They're going to yeah, have a right. great trick-or-treat, bonfire, and pep rally. That's coming up on the 26th. And on the 28th, that's a Saturday, October the 28th, mm -hmm. it is the fifth annual Valley High School Baseball Fishing Tournament. Oh. That's First place grand prize, $1,000. Whoa. You have to bring out the zip code now. I'm telling you, buddy, uh, you can get all the details on that uh, fishing tournament on our community calendar today at GatorKincaid.com. And finally, uh, with Halloween coming up, you got to get ready for a big old, uh, big old fall festival in Valley at the uh, Sportsplex. Yeah. That kicks off six that night. It's going to be fun for the whole family. That information is also on the community calendar page. Till tomorrow, this is uh, Michael and Gator wishing everybody a fantastic day.